question on everyone's minds. What does winter have in store for us this year? I have no idea, but she does. Judy <laughs> Fraser is here getting us ready for this year's Willie That's right. Worm Reports. The winter forecast according to the worm. <laughs> yes, and you had a lot of submissions this year? I did, and I want to give a big shout out for all of my Willy Worm Wranglers. They, they come through every year for me, and I'm just... Uh, I'm just humbled by the fact that people want want me to do this every well, year. Yeah, and we've got some pictures, so let's yes. start here with this one. This one, this is a really interesting little guy. We had some oddities, I should say, in the worms this year because, as I said, the colors are black, brown, and then, of course, the un unique cousin, the white willy worm. Well, this one has all three. I mean, it has the black down the center, but it has the orangey brown on the side and then the gray on the other side. It looks like it's used some hair product. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Very it's spiky. a little spiky. Yeah. Do we um, just say it's 2020? Yeah. So <laughs> that's what it is? So it's it's one of those years that it didn't just jump out at you. Uh, which I will, of course, give the forecast a little later. Yes, I guess yes. that makes your job a little harder. Though, it probably, does make right? it a little harder because it was something kind of brand new. Now, that's the little white woolly worm, uh, which is a little different than its cousin because it tells how much precipitation. Okay, now talk about this one being the, the yes. middle color. So th according to this worm, it's going to be harsh, mild, harsh? Uh, that's exactly right. Oh. So the first, let's say the first four weeks of winter will be cold and the last four will be cold. Um, but then, in between, it's going to be a mild winter. So that's kind of an indication of what that worm worm says. And do you just have to mm. play the, the averages? Because obviously yes. some are going to look like that and some are going to look the exact opposite right. of that. I always look for the majority rule, so to speak. And, and I get worm uh, reports from all over central Illinois. And then I look at them all and I keep a chart of what worm is this color, what they look like, and so forth. Well, I'm seeing a lot of dark ones here and in these pictures there's, scrolling There's through. dark ones, and there's some, <laughs> but interesting, black, and they also had the uh, brown. And not not everybody can take a picture, so I get a lot of uh, posts and texts mm -hmm. and uh, other ways. Uh, so I have to put that all together, and then I come Aww. up with the forecast. Look at that one. Uh, Judy, I actually saw a gray one. Yes. It was not white, but it was gray. Right. So would you classify that into the lighter yes. colored ones? Yeah, that goes into the category of precipitation. So um, kind of an indication. I have not seen that many gray worms until this year, which was kind of interesting. And from a meteorologist's perspective, this is brilliant because now, <laughs> even if it's dead wrong, you can blame the worms. That's right. Like, it's not me, folks. Actually, it's the weather center. It's all on you. But in this <laughs> case, it's like, I'm, you know, it's just doing what the worms said. Well, it's, just, it's the backyard weather casters, I <laughs> yes. guess. And right. so I, I'll, I'll put the blame on, on the worm. Oh, that one looks interesting. It looks yeah, like see, that's a, a yellow and it's got little uh, antenna coming out of it. But see the eyes, how little teeny they are yes, you can. Um, <laughs> but the, it's just kind of a fun way of doing this it has no meteorological credence but it's got a good track record yeah what's I mean, the accuracy of this yeah. every year Does it, do we track this it, we do and and i've found that 80 percent of the time generally speaking this is certainly not set in science and, and neither is the big forecasts from the big <laughs> people yes um, but uh, generally speaking they're they're pretty much on target yes. you know or you can say it's going to be a cold winter or a mild winter or it's going to be snowy etc um, and so you can you can give a, a, a fairly decent forecast and that's what they had to use back in the days when they didn't have all of this technology and stuff now, you mentioned the direction that they're going. The direction. What does that matter? Well, it matters because if they're moving in a northerly direction, that means, hey, it's not going to be bad this winter. I'm going to stick around. But if they're going south, just like the snowbirds, I was just they're say that. getting out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so last year, I think they were, uh, they were going south. So that was an indicator of, right. of cold. And we did have some really cold weather. They're all headed for Denny's. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> they want a cup of java. Right. <laughs> right. With their spoon from their persimmon. Right. Right. That's right. There. Well, well, these pictures are so fun to look through. I'm sure you've gotten more um, than pictures, though, in the past delivered. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> a lot different today, of course, because of cameras and, and phones, rather. Uh, but years ago, people would bring them in in their little fruit jars and <laughs> Dixie cups. 
or they'd send them through the mail. Oh, that can't be good for the no, actual no. woolly worm, I wouldn't think. <laughs> no, I oh. wouldn't think either. They lost a lot of weight and they crawled out of the holes in the post office. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my. So the postal, uh, post... Master General called me one year and said, Judy, can you tell your viewers not to send me <laughs> through the mail? Because they'd, they'd get out. I don't know how they did it, but they uh, poked around and they, and they were all over the floor. Oh and he said, everybody's walking around trying to avoid stepping on these. <laughs> well, there's certain was. things you wouldn't think you yeah. have to tell people not to do, but I guess that, <laughs> that's one of thing. them. Yeah, well, you know. What do they turn into? They don't turn into caterpillars, or I mean, um, they, butterflies. They, no, well, they turn into, they're a, actually a caterpillar rather than a worm. Okay. And they turn into something called the Isabella uh, the tiger moth. And they look, they have the colorings of a tiger with orange uh, wings and stuff, and they're really kind of pretty. Kind of that, one looks, that one looks yeah. like you should not touch it. Yeah. Because there are some that they say don't touch, don't they? Uh, that's a different, that's not a woolly worm. Woolly okay. worms are perfectly safe. Uh, but they, they get, they curl up in a ball when they're captured like mm. that. Uh, when we used to get them live, uh, we'd have a big white uh, spot like this, and we'd put them there, and they were all huddled. Well, the lights came on, and it was like, whew, <laughs> They would scattered. all fly away, and everybody's trying to keep them in the shot. It was, it was very interesting, the way we used to do it. So that. how confident mm. are you, based on the pictures you've seen and the reports you've gotten, um, that, that you have a solid forecast put together. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's an interesting one this year. We've got, uh, as I said, it was kind of neck to neck. Yeah, here are the stats that and you've accumulated, but we're not giving away the full right. forecast. Right. Just going to tell you that 38 percent were black and dark brown. 40 percent were the orange, the multicolored, and the light brown. Okay. And 22 percent, which is a pretty good percentage, were white, yellow, and gray. Mm, okay. So, well, from what, what you've heard, on and what do what you think? You... All right. We will, and you, she will share the actual forecast with I'll us. I'll share the right actual the forecast. The <laughs> right. Yes. So definitely stay tuned for that.